Since setting off from London on April the 1st, Sarah Uton has covered a lot of land and sea. Seven months on, she's reached Tokyo. It's the end of the first leg of her record-breaking attempt to loop the globe, London to London. It's been full of adventures and challenges and highs and lows. And I suppose there were times when I wasn't quite sure how I was going to make it this far. Um, whether that's boshing through the heat of the Gobi Desert or in thick mud in Russia and bits going wrong with bits of equipment and so on. It's been brilliant. Sarah from Oakham in Rutland has enjoyed the highs of the beautiful landscapes and local wildlife. We're about 50 metres away from a brown bear munching happily on the beach and he has no idea that we're here. That's too cool. Breathe in! And endured the lows of the dangerous roads and treacherous conditions at sea. I have definitely had moments where I thought this is bigger than I can do, you know. Or, and certainly some of it surprised me in that respect. I think I was a bit naive at the start. Since leaving London, Sarah has cycled 11,000 miles, travelled through 12 countries and kayaked 300 nautical miles to reach Japan. But the most challenging stretch is still to come. Next spring, she'll attempt to row the North Pacific Ocean, a feat never completed by a woman. After that, she still has to cycle from Canada to New York and then row yet another ocean, the Atlantic this time, to get back to Britain before cycling back home to London. But right now, she gets a well-deserved rest. London to Japan, tick.